welcome back to the channel. And it's been about a month since I've had the Nothing Phone 2, but basically I wanted to compare it to the Pixel 7 because price wise, these two are pretty close in that category. So if you're still debating which of these two phones that you should pick up, hopefully this video helps you out and make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss out on my full review of the Nothing Phone 2. Okay, so just like my reviews, I wanna give you guys a basic spec overview of these two phones. And I just wanna emphasize here that not because one has a higher number than the other, doesn't mean it's a better phone. Ultimately, it's how hardware and software works together. All right, so first things first, the Nothing Phone 2 packs a 6.7 inch OLED display with 120 Hertz refresh rate. Uh, it can also dip down to one Hertz and the screen has a peak brightness of 1600 nits, which is about 200 nits more than the Pixel 7's 1400 nits. Now this also packs a 4700 milliamp hour battery, which can fast charge up to 40 watts wired and 15 watts wirelessly with reverse wireless charging uh, at five watts. Now the Nothing Phone 2 is also equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which yes, is last year's chip. There is a much newer, faster 8 Gen 2, but the 8 Plus Gen 1 is still very capable of running heavy intensive tasks and nothing really optimizes this chip with their software team to make sure that it's stable for phone 2. Now my review unit comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now the Pixel 7 on the other hand features a 6.3 inch, 120 Hertz AMOLED display that can dip down to one Hertz to save on battery. And the display has a peak brightness of 1400 nits. While the difference is 200 nits, you couldn't really tell most days. Now battery on the Pixel 7 is actually a lot smaller than the Nothing Phone 2 coming in at 4355 milliamp hours. Uh, and charging is also different with a maximum 20 watt wired and wireless charging. So you're not only getting a smaller battery on the Pixel 7, but you're also getting slower wire charging, but slightly faster wireless charging. Besides that though, the Pixel 7 features the Google Tensor G2 processor, which is all about efficiency and having all the machine learning and AI chops versus going all in on power. Now my Pixel 7 comes with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, and this is pretty much the maxed out spec that you can pick up. You can't get the Pixel 7 with 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage like the Nothing Phone 2, uh, and if you want 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, you'll have to upgrade to the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, in terms of overall design, I love the uniqueness of the Nothing Phone 2. It's very reminiscent of the iPhone, obviously, but looking past the flat sides, the rounded glass back with the glyph interface is really what makes the Nothing Phone 2 stand out. Sure, you can say that it's just a glorified notification light, but there's more to that than just being a notification light. If you set a timer using the new Glyph timer, it'll show a visual timer on the back of your phone that'll count down and once the light turns off, it'll obviously start buzzing your phone with the appropriate Glyph lighting all around. Now there's also a tally light for whenever you're recording a video, which is kind of cool to see. And then when you plug in your phone, you'll see a progress light at the bottom to see how much charge you have and how much more you need for a full charge. And the obvious is that you can also use the glyph lighting for videos and photos. Now the Pixel 7 on the other hand still feels like a premium smartphone and it's a looker too. I think it's one of the more good looking Android phones we've had in a while with the aluminum camera bar on the back. But as we move closer to the end of the year and more and more smartphones come out, uh, the design on the Pixel 7 is starting to look dated. And while it's a very clean and minimal design, I just can't ignore the glyph interface on the Nothing Phone 2. Now, even though the Pixel 7 has a smaller screen, they're actually somewhat the same size physically, which I find very odd. And I think in hand, the Nothing Phone 2 feels more comfortable because of the flat sides and rounded back, but also the positioning of the power button and volume buttons are well-placed. Now, when it comes to software, both phones are running Android 13 out of the box, but the Phone 2 uses Nothing OS 2.0 on top of it, while the Pixel 7, being a Google phone, just runs plain old vanilla Android 13. Now, this one is kind of hard to pick between since the Phone 2 out of the box, while it looks very different with, you know, super unique iconography and fonts, if you peel off those icons and change up the font, uh, the Phone 2 is basically a Pixel phone with a custom launcher and an icon pack. But I will say the design, the icons, the fonts that nothing spent hours doing for version 2.0 and the phone 2 is really well done. And I love the custom widgets that are exclusive to nothing. And it's very modern, monochromatic, very techy in a way. And it's a really nice change of pace from the flat material U icons we typically see when we set up an Android phone for the first time. Now the Pixel 7 obviously has Pixel exclusive features like now playing, which shows what songs are playing on the lock screen. Uh, you also have quick tap, which allows you to double 
double tap the back of your phone for you know a custom action. Uh, and then there's other software features like call screening, voice message transcriptions, and astrophotography mode inside the stock camera app. At the end of the day, it depends on you and what you prefer more, but if we're looking at both of these phones without all those layers and we look at how they perform day in and day out, they perform just about the same and both phones are very fluid, very quick when going through apps and menus. Now, before we talk about my experience with battery life on these two phones, I just wanna give a huge shout out to dbrand for sponsoring a portion of this video and sending out their something skin. Now, the Something Skin has been updated and has been given the dark mode treatment to match what is obviously very, uh, very much something that we're comparing to Pixel 7 to. So if you guys want to get the Something treatment for your Pixel 7 or MacBook, or maybe you want your iPhone to look like something, make sure to go to dbrand.com slash heymarkel or click the first link down below. Okay, so before we talk about cameras, I just wanna quickly talk about battery life real quick. I can easily drain both of these phones by 11 p.m. or by midnight, and I'd have to charge these phones overnight if I need to get up early and use the phone again. But obviously, how I use my phone could be a lot different than you know how you use your phone, so just take my testing with a grain of salt. One major advantage the Phone 2 does have over the 7 is faster wired charging in a bigger battery, but more often than not, both phones drop to about 15 to 20% by 11 p.m. So yeah, depending on how much you use your phone, you're definitely gonna have to charge these phones overnight. Uh, but if you use the phone too heavily, you can expect a full charge in about less than an hour, about 55 minutes from zero to 100%. All right, now let's talk cameras. The Nothing Phone 2 packs a dual camera setup uh, with a main wide camera at 50 megapixel using the infamous IMX890 sensor and an ultra wide camera also at 50 megapixel, which I was told by Nothing that it's the same sensor from last year, but they were able to further optimize the sensor to make the ultra wide a lot better on the Phone 2. Now the Pixel 7 also features a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixel for its main wide camera and a 12 megapixel camera for its ultra wide. Now, just like battery, photo quality are obviously very subjective. What I like in terms of photo and how it's processed might be something you hate or vice versa. Maybe I like more moody looking shots that are more contrasty while you prefer bright and saturated shots. Personally, from my experience, the Pixel have always shot the best photos on Android. It's the most consistent or most balanced compared to other phones that I've reviewed. Now for my testing, and I'll go more in depth in my full review of the Nothing Phone 2, but I think in terms of camera quality, in terms of photos, the Phone 2 and Pixel 7 are neck and neck. It spits out very similar looking images in daylight with natural looking colors, but the Pixel 7 obviously has better low light capabilities thanks to night sight. When it comes to ultra wide, I think the Nothing Phone 2 is a winner here with its much wider FOV, but the level of detail and colors that the ultra wide camera has on the Phone 2 looks really good too, and I think they really nailed down the processing here on the ultra wide this time around. And when it comes to videos, I think it's a tie. When it comes to regular 4K, I think the Nothing Phone 2 looks slightly better in everyday conditions. It has somewhat better stabilization on both focal lengths, and it looks less processed than the Pixel 7. However, the Pixel 7 features cinematic blur as well as 4K 60 video recording on the front-facing camera, while the Phone 2 is stuck at 1080p up to 60p for its front-facing camera, and there's no cinematic blur video of some sort. But yeah, that's the Nothing Phone 2 and the Pixel 7. Both are incredible phones, and whether you go with one or the other, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. You can find the Phone 2 on their website with a starting price of $599 and goes all the way up to $799, while the Pixel 7 MSRP is at $699 up to $799, but more often than not, you'll find the Pixel 7 on sale for about $100 to $200 off. Now, personally, I'll pick up the Phone 2 over the Pixel 7, not because it's a much faster phone thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, but because I think the camera is just as good as the Pixel. Uh, the software experience is very much similar to the Pixel 7 as well, with a few visual differences and their own take on Android 13. But as an entire package, the overall build quality and design looks a lot better on the Phone 2 versus the Pixel 7. I think the flat aluminum sides and rounded glass back on the Nothing Phone 2 makes the phone a little bit more comfortable in my opinion. But what about you guys? Which one would you guys rather pick up? Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button because the review for the Phone 2 is coming very soon and you don't want to miss out on that video. Thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.